uh, you know, abusing the peel quite a bit. Versus Junba, very normal oriented, very, very much about the tilts, very much about uh, controlling space through the physical character itself. But let's get into this match. Yep, and we saw him right there. You were talking about the banana peel as we were about to go in, and we see him open up with the banana, get it on that platform, because Diddy capitalizes so much on controlling that space, making that platform a dangerous place for Ivysaur to go. And that's really difficult for an Ivysaur because, you know, Ivysaur also likes, you know, as we were talking about before we went into the match, how Ivysaur wants to get back and shoot those vines. When Diddy has the ability to take away platforms with bananas, that can get tough. Absolutely. I mean, both of these guys have projectiles that they can also use to control that mid-range space. Um, one of the prominent things that, that uh, Diddy's and a lot of these other item users can do is once they have a, sh a peel in their hand in shield, everyone has to respect them quite a bit more because they have an outer shield option. As soon as they press A, that peel gets shot out. So if anybody's overextending or if they're doing uh, not respecting the space, Jesus. I'm sorry, can we just revisit this thought? No, I saw he uh, air dodged through the peel and actually got punished for that, unless I'm seeing that wrong. No, I mean, the thing that was that was also fun too is that Luck was going off stage and he started to do this a lot more lately, which is using that up B to potentially spike people off the stage. He's, it's something, Luck is something where someone who he builds a new thing every month and mm -hmm. he gets one new thing. He didn't know what ledge dashing was, like two months ago. Wait, what? Yeah, and he's top 10 on our PR. Like, couldn't ledge dash or didn't know what ledge Did dash? not know it existed. He learned ledge dropping this week. Shield, Shield dropping. Okay. He's incredible. That's amazing. He's that. You see why I'm jealous of this man? No, like he's if so I were good. <laughs> oh my God. He tried going for raw duff. Yeah. The shield got up just in time though. Uh, I love watching him implement the uh, using the wave dash to pick up the items. Yeah. I mean, that's a consistency thing, right? Yeah. Uh, when, whenever you get to that level where it's like you're dealing with item-based characters, you have to have that on point. Uh, but once you get that, once you get to that level, it's something you don't even think about anymore. It just becomes muscle memory. Ooh. So, fun fact. Say you have the peel between you uh, and uh, Diddy. If Diddy's in control of it, if you jab, or if you do any sort of action that goes forward right. with a hitbox, you get you slipped on the peel. Really? Yeah, it's a problem. So you have to find ways to address the peel before you actually even get a chance to get on top of them, or just go around it entirely. Uh, Mox been doing such a great job, though, of really trying to make Lux life hell. I think the the way to look at it would be Mox would be someone who's trying to shut down um, any sort of momentum that Lux is trying to get, because he's seen him in Big Bow. He knows this man can go on a tear and destroy everything that's precious here. Now we gotta be careful really uh, right here. Uh, we see Machiavelli, he's starting to get that uh, solar beam charge. Maybe just a few more hits and he'll have that. Woo. Close range. He's Hazard brawling it out. Close range battles. Mm, it's a big back air. It was a good confirm into it. Um, Luck uses a lot of dash attacks to help maneuver him himself around the stage. Whether well, it's dash attack off of the ledge and then follow up with it uh, after he hits on the ground. The idea that you have a moving hitbox as you're uh, advancing towards the opponent is also really sick. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure what just happened there. Bit of a tech flub. Uh, Luck probably... Luck usually intends to probably angle the, the uh, up beat. I think he might have got side B instead. He had the flower on his head for a little bit there. Got him up here. Luck dominating this stage. Trying to see if he can cover it up. There it is, oh coming into play. Oh my god. By dropping the peel off there, he had it at the perfect timing to cut off the option to snap the ledge. Ah. I like the option right there by Luck to uh, sit on the platform for a little bit before deciding to go in, kind of test the waters, then drop back. He doesn't want to put himself in unnecessary, unnecessary danger right now. He knows he has the advantage can find one stray hit here and probably convert into a kill. So what Luck's doing here is he's waiting. Um, he's waiting to see what Mach is doing. Are you kidding me? Let's just... That was ballsy. So he was... <laughs> the idea he had was if he's going to snap onto ledge, he's going to be stuck on ledge or he's going to do uh, get up onto the stage. Regardless of both options, I'm going to do neutral B here because you're not going to get much further than that. And I'm going to catch you as soon as uh, I pop off this rocket. That was interesting. That's the first Smart. time for luck. He even every every time I see this guy, he got he has something new for me. It's pretty sick. So, Best uh, representation of Squander Squad. <laughs> uh, when I saw that game, is it felt like Machiavelli wasn't getting the conversions off of uh, 
off of his hits, basically. It seemed like he was getting a lot of stray hits that weren't really leading into any big conversions, whereas Luck really was the one getting those. You know, he would get the banana peel slips and follow up off of that. Uh, what? I think that I think you're definitely onto something there. What do you think Mock could do differently in this next game? So Mock is uh, at this point wants to shut down Luck. Mm -hmm. um, Luck is someone where if he gets in, you get hurt. Um, and that's a lot of what goes with the Ivysaur's game plan, right? But we didn't see him use Razor Leaf that much. We didn't see a ton of... There, there, now he started to use it. Now he gets more space to use it too, which is a lot more safe. Because if you do Razor Leaf way too close, it's the same thing with Falco Laser or Fox Laser. If you shoot laser way too close, you're in a problem state. Um, but he's going to try to see if he can get that separation and try to see if he can get him off of him. And then start to use Razor Leaf to control the space in, in between them. Uh, so how do you think you can deal with this right here? You're seeing at the beginning of the match, Luck is actually using that banana to get in. He's using it as an approach option. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of Luck's game plan is all circled around this peel so much. So he's still holding it together, though, even as he's coming back onto the stage here. Um, Luck does a ton with this peel. He's very creative with it. He's either controlling space and saying, you don't get to pass this unless you wave dash here, and wave dashing is a commitment, or you're jumping over it, which is also a commitment. Um, he's also saying that I can also cover up tech roll options. I can make it so things are disadvantaged to you. Wow. Let's, but on Ooh. this other side, we're seeing Machiavelli just saying, well, let's, let's just finish that stock with the, those up airs. Um, fun fact, you've got to make sure that you hit him with the uh, kind of tulip looking part of the uh, leaf. Like that bulb at the top, and if the more you sweet spot that, the more you're going to be charging um, your uh, solar beam. Really, a lot quicker. Yeah. So guys like Mock, who are very smart and know know this, are going to find setups or ways to conveniently get this and build it up over time, and then retain that threat. Um, Ivy Swords generally have have um, roughly two solar beams per match if they're playing it. If everything is going according to plan. Oh, using the map heal against him right there. Good job covering the ledge with the back airs. Quick roll up. That's going to finish his stock. Dead even match. So from, from this perspective, uh, Luck and Mach are dead even. Uh, they both have been doing their jobs effectively. And it hasn't been anything that's really broken away from either one of these guys. Neither one of them have, has had that breakout moment where they just absolutely destroy the other person. Um, they both have been doing a good job of, of achieving their goals, but they haven't really shut down each other's goals either. It seems like both of them have been getting what, exactly what they wanted. And as a result, they're mauling each other pretty heavily. Yeah, I definitely feel like that last game could have gone either way. I think a big part of this game, though, might be the solar beam that we see Machiavelli saving up. Maybe he's trying to convert on this kill right here at 111%. And then if he can hold on to this stock, oh, but he is off stage right now, and then get a solar beam. Uh, that Mach. could be what he's looking for. Mock with the additional roll there, getting caught out by Luck. What? Okay. I didn't even remember seeing him shoot off one of those. Interesting. Luck doing his best to try to find that opening, but Mock strikes first. And with that stock advantage, he barely has anything really uh, to threaten him with at this percentage. All he wants to do is put up extra credit on the board. Oh uh, no, he's no. done. He, he could have DI'd out right a bit more, but it was still Maybe, really but, tricky. Mean, you're at 161%. Yeah. Like, you take what you get. It was pretty rough. And from this position, uh, Mach is enjoying the extra credit that he's got. Mm -hmm. And he has Beam ready but to go. There it is. What did I tell you? That was brilliant. <laughs> that was a great job comboing into it, too. This wasn't. Look at just. Let, let me just. No? Oops. Yes? Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. Is, wait, is it? Yeah, there it is. He had the pop-up. Yep. Caught him on the platform. Because he did up tilt followed by fair to take him to the platform, because there was no tech, that's why the blast actually hit him. Uh, if Luck had teched to the left, he would. there's a chance he would have been safe, but he might have been clipped. There's a chance. Yeah. I think there's chances were a lot better if you rolled to the left though. With that, I, mean, I think you're pretty much guaranteed to get hit by any other direction, unless maybe, yeah, he maybe he could have gotten out of the way in taking place in time. But I highly doubt it. I don't think he had the time. No, he was. That was an excellent job by Mock for just mm -hmm. eventually cutting off options, trapping him, and saying, either you attack or you die. Yeah, he died. That was an excellent job. Okay, so what are you looking forward to in this next match? 
with with these guys going at it, we've seen one apiece. Um, Moxman had a great job downloading and, and being smart about how uh, he's covering up options and doing things and whatnot. We're swapping over here to... Yeah, so we're going on to Wario Land here, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how uh, Luck deals with this, actually, because I feel like this is almost a better stage for Ivysaur in this situation, just because of the way Ivysaur prefers to have people up in the air. But I don't know, how are you feeling about this stage? I think you're right, to some extent, where... You could see why the platforms can work here because he could. Ivy threatens really well on platforms as well, but Luck is someone who can take advantage of these platforms as well. Um, it at least also gives Luck different platforms for him to upbeat towards. For instance, he doesn't. In FD, you have to be honest. Do I go on the stage or do I snap ledge? And with this, you have multiple options here. Oh, he tries to go deep. He ended up trying to catch him with that up B at the latter half. Wow! Oh, wow! He roars up uh, down bees and catches them with that banana. But the but just, sweet spot there. That was a great reversal of fortune. And we see, as we saw Machiavelli finish him with that up B and take him out. I mean, uh, Luck looks like he has a uh, good control of the stage. Uh, but again, we're seeing exactly what it's been looking like for the last two games. Just dead even slobber knocker. Ooh, the down tilt. Okay. Luck is getting some momentum right here. This could be what he needs to maybe take this game, take this momentum, roll with it. The down tilt was sick because um, he previously hit the down tilt and then he followed him directly upwards. Yuppie is not going to finish him this time. Mock reverse back here. Kept him right in front, uh, in front of him. See, I like that uh, use, use of the seed bomb right there because, as you were saying, how Diddy has all these options to use his jetpack to Covering that top platform with the Seed Bomb is just another way that Machiavelli is taking away Lux's options, something that Mach has been doing well throughout the set. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That dash attack's going to put him up towards the top. He's not going to be able to finish him. Mach tried, uh, did an, an interesting idea. Because you don't get that much drift off of the up air, mm -hmm. uh, he did a good job of crossing up on the shield with it. Mm, at certain heights, it does auto-cancel, though. It is, it's pretty interesting. Ivy's Ivy's a character that a long that ever since the tether changes, uh, people have really been uh, unhappy with playing uh, Ivy, and a lot of people have just ditched the character entirely. But Mach is someone who's been sticking with it, and is one of the go-to names when it comes to this character. Wow, oh, that was a long tether. Just barely made it. Luck. Trying to cut him off. Mox actually having a lot of trouble right here getting back to center stage. And Lux just doing a really good job of holding it using that banana. Eventually able to convert off of a kill. That was a long sequence from them. Back out of shield. Luck. Ooh, moving in. Where's the grab? No, whipped it. Mm, Luck is just trying to find these spare hits, but Mock is just quickly saying no multiple times with these up airs. But, I mean, Lux still has this almost full stock lead, and it's all come from him controlling center stage like this, and, you know, even though Mach has been shutting him down, Mach hasn't been getting stray hits of his own, and that's only allowed Luck to continue building this lead, which now has become pretty significant. Mach has been really having a large reliance on the up airs, trying to get himself back down to position, but Luck pulling it together, finishing him off. Luck managing to take that with two stocks at the end. It shows yeah. that over the time, Luck has did a great job of downloading and just gathering information, figuring out how to interact better exactly. with it. Exactly. Uh, Mach didn't really get a chance to really shut him down and zone him out, but mm -hmm. so coming up next, I think I saw we got Dirt Boy and Lunchables.